Hi friends, this coming Sunday we light the first Advent candle and I wish for our world the kind of peace that we sing about this time of year. I think about what the angel proclaimed to the shepherds, peace on earth and goodwill to all humans. And yet here we are 2,000 years later still yearning for this type of peace in our world. I wonder, was it, was it only inner peace that the angel maybe was promising, the kind of peace that's available to each of us in our own lives in the midst of life's trials? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I think that Jesus came to change reality, not just to accept it. Uh, I imagine Jesus saying to his disciples, uh, if you want to see a change, you have to be that change. Jesus believed in the power of love and its ability to transform reality, a revolutionary type of love, the kind that extends even or especially, I would say, to one's enemies. So it's, it's easy to pray for peace, but to love one's enemies, to do good to them and to pray for them, this is the hard work of peacemaking. It's easy to pray for peace, but to break the cycle of violence by refraining from revenge. This is true peacemaking and godliness. Uh, it, it's easy to pray for peace, but to actively allow our pride to die for the sake of real, vulnerable, authentic, human-to-human -human connection, this is revolutionary love. That's what it means to be a peacemaker. So Jesus came to bring peace to the world, but he didn't come to do that for us. Uh, Jesus came to bring peace by raising up peacemakers. So uh, this Advent season, I invite you to join me in praying for peace in our lives, in our communities, in our world, praying for peace wherever peace is needed. Uh, but let us also commit to praying for ourselves that we might become peacemakers in our world, starting in our own circles, but also extending that to this beautiful, messy, broad world that is just so hungry for peacemakers and those who will bring a revolutionary type of love. God bless you, St. John's. I pray that you have a wonderful beginning to your Advent season. I'll see you on Sunday.